a lot of people actually don't like it when I say this, but I, I do think I think short selling is an important element for free and fair markets. And, and it's been shown conclusively time and again, markets work better when short selling is allowed, but you know, when it's done appropriately. And you know, if a stock is overpriced, it's healthy to be able to borrow shares from someone else, sell those to someone else, bet that it's going to drop in price and you can buy back the shares at a lower price and you intend on buying them back, pocketing the difference. You know, the other investors betting the market's going to go up, you're betting the market's going to go down and that's a market. That's, that's yeah. good. That, that's healthy, right? But it's very different from what we, you know, what, what I think people call short and distort campaigns or smash and grab campaigns where, you know, the, the, the media, uh, social media, traditional media, even regulators are used to spread falsehoods or to spread information uh, by those who are betting against these companies and potentially, as we're going to talk about in a bit, you know, betting against them in what Jamie Dimon, the CEO of <laughs> JP Morgan, called unscrupulous ways, right? And yeah. he really highlighted this in the banking sector the thing that we've been looking at and think and seeing across the market in many different places. 